Let's talk about one of the most commonly asked cruise ship questions, and that is, is it worth it to buy the all-inclusive drink package? I originally did not buy the all-inclusive drink package, which was a mistake because the very first day I spent way more money on drinks than I thought I was going to spend and realized that I needed to add the drink package onto my cruise, so I added that on on the second day that I was on the ship. And now I'm going to give you some rapid-fire information about the Cheers package. It includes all alcoholic beverages up to $20 per beverage, so you can get higher shelf alcohol if you want to. It also includes soda, bottled water, juices, and specialty coffees. The drink package is cheaper if you buy it before you get on the ship, so the prices that I'm showing here are the prices I paid when I bought the drink package after I had already been on the ship for one day. Every person in your room over the age of 21 does have to buy the drink package in order for you to get it, and the drink packages are not shareable. You can order up to 15 alcoholic beverages per day on the cruise. After 15 drinks, they will cut you off. You will not be able to purchase any additional beverages. In the long run, I saved a bunch of money by buying the drink package, but I did also probably order more drinks than I would have if I had known that I was having to pay for them individually. 